no wee hoo 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 is on this one. Um, I'm just going to give my opinion on this situation with Paddy and Spam. And now I think it's probable, more, more than probable, possible, that it was just something downloaded they didn't intend downloading. But I'm also going to get on about Shadow Boxer and Paddy backing him. And now Paddy has got a duty to his subscribers that if he's going to back, back this man, he needs to get to the bottom of it and make sure what he's telling them is the truth. Roll VT. Take two because I didn't record the audio. Right. So, <sighs> you've seen what I'm going to show you now anyway. Ooh, right, so let me go back to my inbox. So, at present day, this is what you get when you go into your email. You get primary, promotion, social. And you can put other fucking things up here. But back up, back in day, back... Ten years ago, you didn't get shit like that. It was just, he just said an inbox. And he got spam and all shit. Because they've got spam filters and shit now that they can use. But I'm not defending Paddy for one minute. All I'm pointing out there is that it's not as clear cut if you end up getting some kind of image on your screen that you didn't want that image on your screen or you didn't want that image in your computer. So let's go to me spam. So for the last... See, I've clicked on that one just then, thinking I was recording. But just think, if you've got an order coming, an order delivering from DPS or whatever, and you get this, and you think, oh, something wrong with my order. This is how they do it, isn't it? This is how they get you. And then you, so you've got your not, it's tracking code number, and you're thinking, oh, well, I'll go and track it. And then you click on that fucker, and you could end up downloading Trojans, you could end up downloading images, you could end up downloading porn, you could end up with a fucking black man swinging his knob round in the middle of the screen going, yeah, woo, 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 like a fucking lasso. You could end up with out. I'm going to do this on a sports site where you can get free sports. But just, right, Paddy might have been looking at porn. I don't know what Paddy was looking at. All I know is what it says in the newspaper article, which I'm going to put up a piece on it here. It says, and it is why I saw an image pop up. This is new, new, newspaper article about when Paddy took Stephen Says to court about calling him an N. And in here... <sighs> yeah. But at Newcastle Magistrates Court, Steve, Sayers, 50, admitted saying Conroy was a jealous grass who would view child pornography on his computer. So uh, you can read all this for yourself, but there's a couple of parts where I want to... Mr. Sears and Conroy, no, 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 no. It says here, the court heard that Stephen Sears told by a reputable source, but it don't mention the reputable source, saying that Conroy's then wife saw an image of a naked girl pop up on his computer. An image of a naked girl pop up on his computer screen while a woman said she does not look over 16. He is said to have blamed the image on spam from downloading films and music from the internet. So... That makes sense. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's false, but it makes sense. What what date is this? Or well, this, when it were... Uh, I don't know what date that... Uh, see, that were back in 2016 when he ended up going to court about it. But I'm not quite sure on data alleged offence itself. But there's a part in here that says that Paddy... Wait a minute, let me find it. Yeah, sorry, I had to jump there to try and find it. It says here, Mr. Conroy has never been arrested for the possession of child pornography. <laughs> well, that's one good thing, isn't it? That you haven't been arrested for. You've been arrested for a fucking lot of other stuff. Grossly offensive, he said, man, he said, look, he ended up, put, put, look, ended up sorting it out just before they went in court. And Stephen Sayers ended up paying uh, £110 fine, a victim charge of 20 quid, and cost of £350. But what I'm saying is, it makes sense to me, from an outside point of view, we're no biased on either side, that I know how easy it could be, and how easy it used to be, from when I used to download films and TV shows, when it wasn't like what it was now. Like now, you've got all these safeguards in place, but they still get through. It's all like what I just, well, what I'm going to show you now. So, we don't really know what you were looking at, but I can assure you, if I click on these, I've turned all my ad blockers off, me. I turned it all off, all filters. So let's just have a look. When I pick on one of these, I'm pretty sure I'm going to... Oh, I've still got that on. Prevent the following page loading. Let's proceed anyway. So I must still have some kind of safeguards on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not letting me proceed. 
here see this is what i mean now <laughs> this is what this is here if your download doesn't start automatically download here or click here to restart this is not what i wanted this if i got me this one on here let's try it again now it stopped me there it still ain't stopped me even though i've got that on oh no wait a minute not on the right we're turning this on all right let's turn this other one on and let's try again see if this blocks it oh i need that one on and all See what I mean? You've got to you've got to have all these things on, but because I'd already put already gone through it before I put them on. Oh, see, I'm I'm scared now. What I'm going to do? I'm going to have to block close it up in top window there. I'm going to have to close that there. See, that's how easy it is when you don't know what you're doing and you're messing about on internet that they can get into your computer. You can have pop ups. So imagine this is a. Let's try another one. Let me close these. Let's try another one. Da, 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 da. Let's try football. See, I've got them all turned on now. So I'm going to turn them all off again. So I'm, I'm assuming this is how Paddy ended up in situation he fucking did. Because he ain't got a clue, has it? Look, he spent most of the time when we were learning computers, he was in fucking prison. <laughs> so let's have a go. No, 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 no. Fuck up, fuck ball. Block that. See, it's blocking me from going to certain pages. See, and this, I didn't want to go on here. E-Toro. <laughs> you see what I mean? And that's with all my filters on. So just imagine, it's so easy to end up on somewhere where you didn't want to go. And if it's a nefarious actor, so, say, just for example, we're looking at adult content. And then a pop-up's come up and said, oh, you yeah, shag birds in your local area. Somewhere. Next thing, there's a young last picked up on his pictures and if he's just and if he ain't deleted them images out this thing it's so easy for him to download them to, to end up end up having them in your computer not defending him don't like the fella i'm just pointing it out there that if we're going to non somebody off needs to have decent decent foundations as to why he's getting non-stop so and this is what i want to set up well, I'm not a fan of Paddy at all. I think he's a bully. I think he's... I think he's socially unaware uh, how much responsibility he should have to his people that follow him. I, it's hard for me to explain what I'm meaning, but basically I'm saying he's got a following of people that listen to him. So when he's not doing due diligence on fucking people and telling people... Well, they, let me just play it. And tell you what I mean about Paddy. And why. He can do what he wants. But I think he should just have a step back. And have a think about what he's saying. And, and he's got post-traumatic stress and all. From his experience. With his sexual assault. And the jail. And getting beaten up in jail. And he's been through it. So this is the conversation they were having with his followers when i were on shadowbox's channel in chat and what made me post that comment saying do you really know about his history before you're defending him do you really know that he ain't done this before but looking into it he hasn't he hasn't been convicted for an offense like this before his other his other charges have been drink driving drunkenness all to do with be all to do with drink really with shadowboxer his convictions but it's not just about convictions is it you know what i mean it's pattern of behavior and we don't know about his pattern behavior because we ain't seen his um irish version of acro which i mentioned but paddy here is defending him and he seems to be like putting it all onto this victim he don't know her he's never spoke to her he knows not about her other than what shadowbox has told him and he's trying to make Shadowboxer out here to be the victim, which which annoyed me. And that's why I posted that comment. It annoyed me that, without knowing anything, I don't think Paddy's read all case notes. I don't think Paddy's read newspaper reports. I think Paddy's just going on what Shadowboxer's telling him. And Shadowboxer is a clever man. He's a very manipulative man, and he's a clever man. And he knows how to play people. And he knows how to get on people's good side and stuff like that. So let's just have a, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let it play what he says about Shadow Boxer and how Shadow Boxer's a big victim in this. But he does mention he does call the woman a victim. 
Paddy calls the woman a victim at some point. At one point he's saying that she was doing it for fame and for fortune. Same, Paddy, right, I'll tell you what Shadowboxer were famous for before all this incident took place. He streaked on a rugby match and he were on... Oh, what's that show called? Take Me Out. They were on them. That were it. So what fame show going to get after putting us through a fucking trial and then him trying to get a retrial just makes no sense. Shanna actually wanted, when he first met me, he said, let's get, get her on, the woman who's made the accusations about me. And you'll see what she's all about, man. She's a fucking actress. She wanted fucking publicity and she's used me. Um, it's because she, she's a wanting to want to be starlet, wanting media. Um, and I said, no, you don't do that with victims. I tell him, no, from day one, no, she's still the victim. Just fucking leave her where she is. Uh, if she comes out and starts saying things, fair dues, but she hasn't. But uh, he was up for that, like, he wanted it just to show the public the fucking hook. It's a he say, she say, but he wanted you to see who, who the, what she was about. And I said, no. And we see what Shara's about. He's a proper fucking, he's a Catholic boy. He is. Doesn't like to hide nothing. He got torn off, yeah, because the judges doubted it on appeal. So to keep everyone happy, the half decent sentence, um, he ended up with a torn off, yeah, sentence. And that's true. It did get five year, and then it got reduced to uh, two and a half year. But that was, right, it's a complicated situation because there were our charges, there were lots of different charges attached into the same court case. And he only got done for the SO. So what managed to argue positively that the other charges that didn't get he didn't get convicted for were biased to the to the judge oh how can i say this the judge were biased because he'd, he'd read all charges but he got off with all them other charges he were found not guilty of them other charges so when you see hear him say he got his sentence reduced he did but not because they thought it were a lesser offense than what he committed it was because they thought that the judge might have overstepped his bounds by giving him such a long sentence because he knew all them other charges. And this is the crux of the matter, right? He's not trying to get it overturned on the grounds of the offence. He's trying to get it overturned on judicial on judicial process. We are all we all them charges being tagged into one. He was trying to get it overturned by saying it biased him against on his S offence because he were also in there for our offences. So he didn't get a, he's saying he didn't get a fair trial because he were acquitted or not guilty on the R offences, but he got found guilty of the SO offence. So the SO offence was only come back with a guilty plea, uh, no, sorry, a guilty verdict because of all the information they heard about the R offences. So his appeal for the conviction of the SO, he's appealing not on the grounds that he did not commit the SO, but on the grounds that the jury were influenced by all the R charges, which he got found not guilty for. So simply, this is it. This is a simple fact on it. He's not, he's not going to court and saying, I didn't do it. He's going to court and saying, I got convicted for it because you threw in a load of charges that I got found not guilty on and that influenced you to give me an SO verdict. One of the judges wanted to acquit him because it's a he say, she say. One of the judges went, no, I'm acquitting him. I'm, and that's the way it should have went. The three of them should have, but two didn't. Um, on his appeal, he got a split decision sort of thing. Again, one of the judges did agree that judicial process had not been fully adhered to. He didn't say, oh, no, he needs acquitting. He didn't do it. He said that it was were, it were a case he's appealing on judicial process. That's it. He's not appealing on the grounds he ain't done it. He's appealing on the on the woo, on the pro, uh, done judicial process. To what judges said, judicial process had been followed. One said he didn't believe it had been. So that's it. He got convicted for the offence. Judicial process has been proved to be followed. So that's it. He's a convicted SO. I 
I bird went home with him for sex. Um, that's not in dispute. How do you know that? How do you know that, Paddy? Because you're saying it's an he, she, he says, she says, but now you're saying that's not in dispute. She refused to take her jeans off. He tried to strangle her to keep her quiet. You're saying his mum and dad's in the next bedroom. He tried to strangle her and told her he would kill her if she made any noise. It's in the, he's in the next bedroom to his mum and dad who are Catholics. You know what I mean? When this is supposed to have happened in the next bedroom when his mum and dad's asleep. You know what I mean? And it's a he say, she say. There's no other victims. Shadows never had anybody, anything at all. Not like all the rest of the, the fuckers on you. have got a history of doing this and doing that and this one's come forward and they've got a history of Shana hasn't even got a history. This is the only one little thing. Now, this is what I mean here. Look, Paddy, you don't know that for, for a fact. I can tell you from what I've seen, he's got no other convictions for it. But you've gone after other people with patterns of behaviour. So we aren't seeing his Irish version or his record. You don't know if he's got a pattern of this behaviour. And this is the only woman that actually went to, went to police station. And you've got a you have got a duty. You get five hundred people on your lives. You get other five hundred people sometimes. A thousand people on your lives, and they believe you and trust you, and like you. So you playing down this situation like this, we are we are saying to him, right? If I'm going to back you, the uh, shadow boxer. If I'm going to back you, I want you to do a lie detector test. If I'm going to back you, shadow. I want you to get your police certificate and I want you to send it to me. If it's sent to me, and then I'll back you. Because it's a serious offence, this what you've been found guilty on. And if you want me to believe that you ain't done this before and you won't do this again, you want me to be all pally with you, I need to know 100% that this is not going to come back and bite me in the fucking ass. That later on Dark Rhyme we find out that you have done it before. And you've been you've been cautioned or whatever or whatever. I don't know. Do I think he's done it before? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not backing the man. I'm not coming on YouTube and telling audiences like what Paddy's got that oh it's an he says she says and he's never done it before and she were after fame. You don't know that, Paddy. So don't put that in people's heads without knowing it. Get out phone to a shadow boxer. Tell him you want his police certificate sent in to you and you want him to do a lie detector test if you want to back him. See what he says to that. He might say no, he might say yeah. But at least you've got some grounds then to be able to make these statements that you're making. Because if, if there was, it would have come forward by now. And yeah, they haven't. This is a one thing with him and it's a he say, she say. And it fucking destroyed his fucking life. Um. It did. And he still suffers post-traumatic stress from it as well. I could read you a victim statement that she made after about how it's changed her life as well. Look, there's no, there's no good going to come out in any of this, is there? But a bit of truth, aren't it? Oh, and that's what I that's what I put up on screen. Then that's after watching that, that's what I put in, not on Paddy's channel, on Shadowbox's channel. I know Paddy wanted to reply to that instead of seeing it and thinking, right, I'm going to clear. I'm going to be the man that's going to clear his name. I'm going to get all the information, and I'm going to prove to my subscribers that I'm right in backing this man. No, what did I get? I'm on the list.